is sin x bijective? This is the question we are going to discuss in this video. We shall use horizontal line test to see whether sin x is bijective or not. Horizontal line test. Uh, this test is used to check whether the function is bijective or not. Let's explain it. We take the graph of a certain function. Draw a horizontal line. Here we see that the horizontal line intersects the graph in only one point. We can move the horizontal line anywhere in the graph and it still intersects the graph in only one point. So if a horizontal line intersects the graph of a function exactly once the function is bijective. However, let's take another graph of a function and draw a horizontal line. Here, the horizontal line intersects the graph in two points. That is more than one point. So if uh, a horizontal line intersects the graph of a function more than once, then function is not bijective. So the horizontal line test states that if a horizontal line intersects the graph once, exactly once, then it is bijective. And if it intersects the graph more than once, it is not bijective. Also, we know that uh, the inverse of a function exists only if it is bijective. We shall make use of these facts to check whether sin x is bijective or not and whether inverse of sin x exists or not. Let us draw the graph of sine function. Uh, this is x-axis, y-axis. We label angles on x axis angle of 0 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 pi minus pi 3 pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 2 pi minus 2 pi 5 pi by 2 3 pi uh, we shall draw the graph of sine function from minus 2 pi to 3 pi so this is the uh, graph of sine wave or sine function uh, now we shall draw a horizontal line so this is the horizontal line. Here we see that uh, this horizontal line cuts the graph of sine function in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points. From minus 2 pi to 3 pi, this horizontal line has cut the graph of sine function in 6 points. So this function is not bijective as a horizontal line test states that if a horizontal line cuts a certain graph in more than one point, then the graph is not bijective as this is the graph of sine function. So the sine function is not bijective. So its inverse cannot be found. But we do find the inverse of sine function. So let's now define a new function. Now we restrict the graph of uh, sine function from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and we truncate the graph uh, before minus pi by 2 and after pi by 2. So the graph obtained from the sine wave which is restricted from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 is called principal sine function. So the portion of uh, sine function graph which is restricted from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 is called principal sine function. Now we check that whether this principal sine function is bijective or not. We draw a horizontal line. Here we see that the horizontal line cuts the graph of principal sine function in only one point. So the principal sine function is bijective. Uh, we can move uh, the horizontal line anywhere in the graph, but it still intersects the graph at only one point. So from minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, 
the graph of sine function which is called principal sine function is bijective so its inverse exists because we know that the inverse of a bijective function exists so as the this principal sine function is bijective so its inverse exists so this is the sine function which is called principal sine function which is bijective and its inverse is found